we have time uh, <coughs> just for a few, few questions uh, from the audience. And maybe, uh, yeah, shall I give you this? The, the questions can be for, for Peter Yetfosh or for mem members of the, of, of the quartet or I guess anyone. I can, I'll start off with a question, and it's actually for Ki for Kyle. Can you um, explain, <laughs> yeah, sorry to put you on the spot. Um, can you explain a little bit about how you, what, what, what you just did? Um, just a little bit. <laughs> step by step? Step by step, by step. Step, note step by note. Step no, by but note. can you explain how you took, you know. Um, uh, okay, uh, where do I, let's just start right from the beginning, I guess the, the concept and then. Uh, Lawrence and I found two scores of the of two of your operas, Three Sisters and I forget the second one. We didn't have a recording of the second one, so we went with Three Sisters. And uh, I just I started with the score and listening to the music, and just picking out themes that I thought we could improvise on. And it's um, there's a lot in there. I had probably 45 minutes of music, and had to say, okay, you know, I need to stop at some point. So I picked these. I think it's. I think it was eleven, and I think we cut some. So I think it's more. I think it's like nine now. But um, pick these themes, and then we worked on them collectively. Like I have a score that's kind of loosely notated. Or no, it's not loosely notated. It's it's taking transcribing from the score, and then kind of changing octaves, and then lots of pencil from being in the rehearsal and being like, oh, West. Can you do that? Is can you do that? Okay, okay. So Wes does that, and then okay, a trombone will do that, and that's kind of how it built up. And then we started playing on it, and like the group, this my group, tr like my work itself is kind of uh, working in a similar way, taking thematic material that has a very strict identity, and then w improvising within that identity. And so it's kind of I embodied or, or tried to embody what I felt was the identity of these pieces when we improvised, and I, th I hope we captured it. I think, and. Yeah, didn't massacre it. <laughs> didn't abstract it too much. But. I mean, maybe this is a hard question to answer, but I'll ask it anyway. <laughs> what what makes a good theme for improvisation? Can, can you can you articulate uh, what what it is you look for in, in material that you'll use? I think um, so. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's pretty simple. I think. It's first of all, it's like what sounds good. I think like if I'm if I'm hearing it and it sounds good, that, that my ear is instantly drawn to it, which is strange. The, the strange thing I have to say is that s some of this sounds like my music, and I don't know if it's because of like the way we're playing it or the way that I hear it, and it's like oh I like that because it sounds like there's the third piece, the third part that we played, the refrain. It has a the the rhythmic. Um, it's in seven and it has these offbeat. 16th notes that's like something I'm attracted to the the rhythmic pulse that I felt was uh, I thought oh this would be a great place to start and it's also mostly like rhythmic ideas or melodic ideas like intervals that make sense to me and that make sense that when I got out the saxophone and started playing them it's like okay that that feels right and then I hope it feels okay on the trombone which usually it doesn't but he gets by so <laughs> I think I think that answers it and uh, I'm wondering uh what what goes through your mind when you, when when you, hear, you you hear something like tonight? What, uh, what, um, what, what what do you think when you hear? I, I mean, not not just that it's good or bad, but oh, it's it's, it's very very important for me because um, the music what I think I must write down to give to the musicians to be interpret. And uh, the written music is something completely, completely different. Because I have an idea, I heard his music, and I start to write, write down, and I see that what I, what I write is it's very, it's not the same, what I think. It's very difficult to put uh, the idea and uh, the paper uh, together, because the paper has his uh, his uh, low and uh, it's a completely different uh, uh, way i think a little bit as an architect uh, the, the architect on the paper and later he can see it but at the same time uh, 
that what I think is something like what, what you, are, you are playing. As a, I improvise in my, my idea and I try to, f uh, to fix this improvisation uh, on the paper and uh, and the end uh, very often I am not not happy because it's not really that what this is in the paper as that what was was my first uh, uh, idea and uh, very often I s uh, say that the, the very important composers of the 20th century <coughs> so from some some of the <coughs> Stockhausen and for me uh, Boulez for me and Miles Davis, because Miles Davis is a composer, but just he, he composed in a different way. As a, he was the, the free composer, and the other are the paper composer. <laughs> As a, this, uh, I would like to, uh, to to combine both, but this is not possible. It's not possible, and especially it's not uh, not possible because uh, I am now in in these. Uh, uh, this music word, uh, if I have a commission, I must <laughs> write down. I can't say that, uh, okay, I come and uh, I explain you how you to play, because there, there's just one hour rehearsal. This is, this is not, not the same, uh, same situation. I would be very happy to be in your place, <laughs> uh, to, <laughs> to, to, can, to, to have this opportunity to, to play the music like, like that. As I, I find this is for me, this is my one half of me. Uh, they're the composer, the other half uh, are you. Peter, a question on if you could comment on the spontaneity in jazz performance and how that relates to classical performance or the performance of classical music which is mostly notated, written down. Well, um, I think he's, he's asking about the, the difference, the, the, the contrast between the spontaneity <laughs> of, of jazz. Jazz performance in particular. In, in performance in particularly, the spontaneity yeah. and, and... And how that contrasts to... Well, with, with no music that is... is, is notated. Yeah. Uh, that is notated, yeah. That's interesting. Just whether there's room, is there room in the performance of classical music that can open up to the kind of spontaneity that you experience in a jazz performance? I have a uh, not, uh, not very positive experience with that because the, the education for both kind of music, the improvised music and the, and the classical music as a to, to interpret music is uh, it's very different and most, as a very, very few case, as a very one percent, I could say, uh, uh, you could find the musicians uh, uh, who can make both. As a who is a good interpret, from interpret I mean in the classical term, that to, to learn something, to, to read, read the music and, and realize the, the written music. And from the other, other side, the jazz is in, uh, uh, it's a full with fantasy, it's a, it's a completely different rhythmical world. The rhythm is completely uh, is other, uh, other place. I don't know where. Uh, wh where, is the, where is the rhythm for you? Here or, so? or here? Here. Here, no, yes. Here. Sometimes here, yes. I think for the, uh, for the classical musicians, my, uh, mostly here, and that's a problem. As a, uh, it's very, very difficult to combine uh, both, and uh, some of the high schools, they, they try to combine this. It's, it's very, very, would be very important. And I've uh, sent my uh, students uh, to the, to, for example, to the, to the big, big band classes to learn, to be, to learn uh, how, how to beat, as a before, to, to play before the beat, after the beat, and it's, it's a catastrophe. As a they, 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 they <laughs> The, the, the bung does always on the beat, and I say it's not, it's not that. It's, it's a completely, completely different uh, kind of, of feeling, and it's very da dangerous for me too. Uh, when I wrote, for example, for example, my second opera, say, called uh, Le Balcon, uh, from Genet, and in this opera I uh, 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 composed in way of. Uh, Cabaret, cabaret music. Uh, cabaret music is something different as, as, uh, as the, the 
classical music in, in Andre Guinea. And it uh, was very difficult because it was the ensemble Enter Contemporain who play fantastic. As a, every, everything was written immediately, it just works. But something to whoop, whoop, don't work. <laughs> As a, you, you, you need uh, two weeks, three weeks, and uh, perhaps after three weeks, it's, it's not the same. As a, the, this character is, uh, is uh, I have really difficulty with that. And it's better for me not, uh, not, to, not to mix both together, because I find that the musicians are not, not getting it. We, 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 we take one, one more question. Yes, uh, another, another question for Kyle. Kyle, I, I think in terms of timing, you didn't have a chance to work with Peter on this, is that right? You had, you had simply the music. And knowing you were going to end up here tonight, did you feel especially respectful? Did you feel boxed in by it? Or were you, how, how did you approach the, the, the music? I, I think I approached it with respect, but never felt boxed in. I think that's the thing. I think it, that the, your music has a life to it that, it, like, as soon as I heard it, it spoke. It was like, oh, there is something more here that we could do beyond. Because uh, I was a little nervous that I would hear the, the opera and be like, oh, oh, Lawrence, I don't think well, there's anything we can do. <laughs> but that wasn't, that wasn't the case. It was, there's too much to do. And I think it was, it, but part of the, res the respect I have for it is that it, it, there is something there is something like intuitive that that, w that you were talking about, you know, that I, I li like the, I, the, that feeling, the, the internal rhythm that it like I could feel that as I was listening to the piece and think, OK, this is this is how we could play this and move into that. So 